Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. On YouTube, there are some um, videos about um, small hacks that you can do around the house that'll make your job a little bit easier. I've been getting some emails saying, can you take a look at some of those and see if they actually work? I said, sure, yeah, that'll be kind of fun. I, I looked at the, at the hacks, it was 10 hacks that can do this, that makes your life easier, uh, 25 hacks that do this, and they give you little snippets of each one, and they all, they do, they look really kind of cool. And I thought, you know what? Let's test them. Let's test them and see if they work. So today's t hack is you lost the key to your padlock. Okay, it's a key lock here and you lost the key and you have to get into the shed. You have to get into that area that this is locked up in. So this is already on your shed. You lost the key, you need to get in. So what do you do? You're gonna call a locksmith and pay him I don't know, how much do you want to pay them? Um, maybe it's just an old lock and you just want to get rid of it. Just buy a new one anyway. Well, in the hack that they showed you, you take two of these open-ended wrenches, put them in here, and actually physically break the lock. Now, I just bought this lock. This is by Brinks. The lock that I saw looked kind of inexpensive. This is the cheapest looking and the least expensive lock that I could find. And I figured that's what most people are going to put on their sheds. So they're not going to put on something massive because it's already been proven that a bullet will not open a lock. So we're going to try this. So in this, in this case, oh yeah, eye protection. Let's see what happens here. All right, so let me show you what they want to do. I'm going to pull this down here a little bit like this. And what they show you to do is you put, you got your lock and you put your wrenches like this. Okay, you see that okay? You got your lock, you put your wrenches side by side like that, and you're actually going to cantilever them apart. So I'm going to squeeze these with my hand, and in theory, this lock somewhere in here is going to break so this pops open. So they made it look easy, and I've got a whole wrench set here that I, that I chose from, and I chose these two because it's... It looked like it, it might do it, and I hope I don't, well, they're craftsmen, so if they break, they'll replace them anyway. So here we go. We're going to try it. I got my eye protection on. I'm going to squeeze this like this. Ooh, what broke? Look at that. Look at that. Now let's see if this opens. No, no, it's not open yet, but let's try it again. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm crossing the wrenches now, widening that gap even further. And look at that. this point now it didn't snap open but I bet I bet now hang on I'm gonna grab something this is getting this actually is pretty good I'm gonna grab my crescent wrenches and see if I can finish the job all right so we're, let's put these guys aside here's the piece that that shot off I'm going to take my crescent wrench across here, 
and one across here. And look at that, I can open that up now. I just destroyed this lock. Now look at that. I can get that off of a shed now. That's easy. So the wrench idea works. I'm saying holy cow. A Brinks lock, again, like I said, it was the least expensive quantity, quality, or quantity wise and probably quality wise, but you're not gonna put a heavy duty lock on your, on your shed anyway that you would put on like a storage unit. Um, but by using wrenches, squeezing them apart, squeezing them together, making these parts here go apart, we destroyed this lock, opened it right up, finished opening it up with the crescent, with the uh, with the channel locks, and that worked out pretty good. Impressive. Okay, can it be done? Yes, I can. Is this something new that I just learned? Yes. I thought that was pretty neat. Nice little hack. Um, I think that's gonna that's gonna stay right up here for future use. I liked it. If you would please, there's a um, um, a little button here if you'd subscribe that would be wonderful thank you very much and uh, let's see if we can get some more hats hey um, down in the comment section uh, if you come up with a hack that you want me to test put it down there uh, and let me see if I can uh, get the materials together and we'll try it out I think that this is gonna be kinda fun and uh, I'll see you in the next video and be safe out there <laughs>